A woman's encounter with two giant wolves in the woods leads her to an unforgettable adventure. Diverse wildlife. From the biggest to the ones who stay under the Earth's surface, we have enormous creatures. We have more than 2 million species, so there's no way that you'll know all of them. But some species are much more popular than the rest. Like everyone knows about lions, snakes, dogs, eagles, wolves, cats, seals, whales, sharks, etc. The list goes a long way. Some of them have the tendency of being loving towards humans, rest are wild, and usually end up hurting humans because that's their tendency. The first ones are good, but what if you have an encounter with the latter type of animals when you're all alone? Just imagine you're in the middle of the woods, you're all alone taking a regular walk where you walked a bit deeper into the jungle than you usually do and now you stand right there in front of an animal that's looking at you through the bushes. What would you do? Can you actually do anything at all? One fine day when the weather was freezing cold and the earth's surface was covered with snow, Danielle, after getting free from her work, decided to go for a walk with one of her friends. They were enjoying the chilling atmosphere and their minds were at immense peace. There was nothing new for them as it was almost part of their daily routine to get some fresh air. But that day wasn't like other days. Someone was closely keeping an eye on them through the bushes. The humans didn't realize it until that someone got a company and the two started approaching towards them. Wolves are the chasers who aren't as fast as cheetahs but fast enough to chase their prey down with a speed of 45 kilometers per hour. It's about 28 miles per hour. If you ever encounter a wolf, assuming that you're a mighty and tough person who can fight a wolf, then you should know that wolves never attack alone. They hunt in a group of 5 to 10 wolves, which means there's no way out, unless they just had their food and you don't look that tasty to them. If that's all you know about wolves, then you should really go ahead and see what these creatures can actually do. This occurrence took place in the Colorado Wolf and Wildlife Center, a nonprofit organization which is certified by the Association of Zoos and Aquariums AZA, a wildlife that especially looks after the wolves and the hybrid dogs that are very close to the wolves. The place is intact with professionals as well as volunteers who love to work for these animals and work upon their continuously decreasing numbers. While the professional zookeepers and doctors may get along with these wild species, it's not at all advisable for the volunteers and the other visitors to get close to these animals. But what if it happens unintentionally? When talking about wolves, we'd like to tell you that wolves are very emotional when it's about their relationships and family. Once they get a partner, they generally live together the rest of their lives. They're strongly connected with their known wolves to an extent that they can even give up their own lives to save their family. There's so much about these species that most of the world isn't yet aware of. Wolves are famous for howling sound they make. It's actually their way of communication. No matter how good they might sound, nobody ever wants to see one without any security as we're all aware that they're wild creatures who live on hunting and a wolf attacking a human is not an unbelievable thing to happen. Many people are scared of wolves, coyotes and foxes, but not the founder of this sanctuary. Darlene Kabobel, a brave and kind-hearted lady who sees wildlife's pain instead of getting scared of it. The founder's life mission is to save these beautiful beasts from human exploitation. When it comes to wolves, Darlene has experienced more than required, but what happened that day came to her as a surprise too. It was one of these moments where time stood still, and that's when a person gets what we all know as a once-in-a-lifetime event. Kakoa, meaning the brave one, is a timber wolf that was taken in by the Colorado Wolf and Wildlife Center. Kakoa was welcomed as an infant after being born in the Seacrest Wolf Preserve in Florida. He's known as the Reserve Center for his thick and soft silver gray fur. Kakoa has remarkable features and is always active and ready to play with his sister, Sakara, who came along with him. Wild animals look incredible until they get too close. And that happened when a young woman crossed the path with Kakoa is something we need to see. Sakara is an independent fighter yet cute female wolf. Sakara, Kakoa, and Kaney, their adopted grandson, stay together. Sakara has shown strong maternal instincts and has raised many pups over the years. She normally stays away from humans and any contact with them. Sakara is used to observing people from behind the trees and notices humans passing by when she lays at ease. The Wildlife Center was happy at the moment they welcomed the pair of these siblings and it was a nice addition to see wolves in the place. Well, they were not interfering in anyone's life until one snowy day. 
being the first ever wolves in the center they were representing the sanctuary as ambassadors everyone was expecting that having two wolves in the sanctuary would attract more visitors and this would increase the possibility to educate more population about wolves and wolf dogs but Kakoa and Sakara had some other plans for the visitors and for the publicity of the center they were both adopted from a facility in Florida called Seacrest Wolf Preserve we'd hoped they would be ambassadors but sadly like most wolves and high content wolf dogs once they reached maturity they became very shy and retired at the ripe old age of two said Michelle Smith a worker at the center they were not at all interested in any of the interactive sessions thus their caretakers let them wander in the woods without any obstacles they were free and so was Danielle at the age when the wolves behavior is changing it could be a very terrifying incident Danielle a sanctuary worker loves wolves and she's quite fascinated by seeing this change in their personality she works at the sanctuary as a full-time employee and has always been passionate about her job she generally gets excited about cutting raw meat for the wolves and she's always seen doing even the boring tasks with so much enthusiasm in 1993 Darlene Kabobel from Lake George Colorado started this wildlife center when she saved a wolf dog named Chinook the two years old dog was soon to be euthanized in a local animal shelter just because she was a wolf hybrid label Darlene always been scared of wolves but looking at Chinook changed her life forever after welcoming young Chinook home she started researching about the wolf dogs and learning their extreme struggles throughout the country the response she received was much more than anyone ever expected the first year Darlene used to get 15 to 20 phone calls on a daily basis from all over the country as the number of people who wanted to surrender their wolves were too high that's when she realized that people really need to learn a lot about these species as people can't take care of their wolf dogs out of more than 80 percent are given in the shelter before they turn three the shelter house and humane societies euthanize these young pups in the next 24 to 72 hours people came to the wildlife center offering a helping hand and that's how they started welcoming volunteers there's not a day that goes by that I don't feel not only lucky but also blessed to have found and now live at this beautiful peaceful location to provide sanctuary for the animals and provide a fun and educational environment to visitors said Darlene this wasn't just a concern but a less known issue across the US that's when Darlene came in contact with Danielle a girl who was interested in volunteering for the Wildlife Center wasn't having the slightest of ideas about the moment waiting on her after completing two decades Darlene's Wildlife Center has covered 35 acres where the rescued animals live the place organizes several tours for the tourists and has a lot of other exciting features for people who love these ancestors of dogs family it even consists of an amphitheater for educational purposes the workers of the center have also arranged facilities for many hikes and adventurous people love it as the place is filled with enough wolves they have enough security measures also but the encounter that Danielle had was never seen before although all the sanctuaries are taking extreme steps to save the endangered species of the gray wolves the numbers are decreasing after all the efforts these natives of North America and Eurasia areas are now struggling to survive the extinction very few wolves are left in the European land the majority live in Alaska Canada and Asia the animal sanctuaries are the safest place for these animals to be but it's assumed that humans are kept in safety there neither was Danielle any ordinary visitor at the place nor was her experience thanks to people like Darlene that gray wolves are able to live a naturally healthy life for sure she was certain that nothing bad could happen to the wolves or to the volunteers as the security measures are very strict and nobody ever gets in the way of the wolves also the wolves are kept distant from the humans so everything seems safe yet the wolves nature seemed a bit unknown until Danielle walked in wolves are beautiful giant creatures who act shyly and introverted when surrounded by people on the contrary when wolves are with their family or another pack of wolves they tend to be more active and more playful the encounter with Danielle wasn't planned by anyone hence this could be a strange sight for Kakoa and Sakara so was their reaction to it when walking through the woods Danielle felt like someone was following her she wasn't wrong because when she turned back she noticed that it was Kakoa who was easily recognized because of his silver shiny fur he was looking straight at her three of them were face to face when Danielle saw that Kakoa wasn't alone 
Behind Kokoa, who was standing in an alert position, Sakara was trying to hide behind the trees and peeking through the gaps. Danielle and her friend did not react to this. They were in the middle of a dense forest on a cold day with two young giant wolves looking at them and they had no clue about what should be done next. Although Danielle always wished that she could build a strong connection with these wild animals, but never in their life did she wish to face them like this. Her friend was also equally hopeless as this pair of siblings was getting closer to them. They were getting hopeless not seeing anyone around them. Kokoa reached there first while Sakara decided to stay back. She was standing there a few steps away from her brother as if she was scared to get any closer. But Kokoa was close enough and started sniffing their clothes. They both were terrified while Danielle's friend stepped back away from Kokoa. Danielle was still standing right there. She admires wolves for their beautiful and gigantic appearance, but she was petrified. Kokoa came close to her and touched her hand with his nose. For Danielle, it was a scary thing, and she could feel Kokoa's fur near her legs. Instead of running away, she sat down right there and did what was so unbelievable that her friend immediately took out her phone from her pocket to record the present happening on the phone. Danielle started petting Kokoa, and he too was being comfortable with her. Her friend was recording all this and was not ready to get any closer. Sakara also seemed interested in everything. She too started moving towards Danielle. If you think this is all, then you need to keep watching as these wolves made a huge choice that day. Within a few minutes, Kokoa was so comfortable with Danielle that he decided to rest on the land and requested her to pet him with his sweet hand gestures. He was getting his belly rubbed by Danielle just like dogs like. Every time Danielle stopped rubbing his belly, Kokoa slightly put his front leg on top of her hands to pet him. Kokoa started kissing Danielle and Sakara too wanted to be a part of this fun scene. Kokoa and Sakara both are reserved nature and never let humans nearby. But with Danielle, they were playing like she was one of them. I've always had a passion for nature and animals. These wolves have my heart and I'm honored to have been accepted into their pack, said Danielle. Danielle was assuming it to be a once-in-a-lifetime thing to happen and that the wolves would treat her like any of the rest of the humans the next time they see her. However, that day both Sakara and Kokoa chose Danielle as a part of their family. Even Danielle herself wasn't aware of this until the next time she saw them. That day when Danielle walked out of the woods, she was still reliving the moments with the wolves over and over again. When the Wildlife Center staff saw the video, they wanted Danielle to meet the wolves on a daily basis so that there's at least one person whom these wolves will listen to. But Danielle wasn't sure if Kokoa and Sakara were going to react in the same way or not. Whenever Danielle's around, it looks like Kokoa and Sakara get too excited to stay with her. They both enjoy cuddling with her and just laying right there, surrendering themselves to her. For Danielle, it's nothing less of a miracle and the best job she could ever be working on. Even the sanctuary staff took advantage of the strong bond. Although both Kokoa and Sakara are friendly with Danielle, the closest bond she shares with Kokoa the wolf, who generally stays calm. He's seen relaxing, but with Danielle, he's a completely different wolf. He's active, he's playing, and definitely he's enjoying. After their encounter with Danielle, Kokoa and Sakara have no issues in appearing in front of the visitors. Kokoa loved to kiss the visitors while Sakara appreciates a little petting. They've developed a trust in Danielle, and that's the reason why she's assigned to most of the work related to the wolves. The video clearly shows Danielle taking steps towards the wolves. She slightly leaned down and started petting them. Kokoa and Sakara seem to be loving her nature and got along with Danielle within a blink of an eye. They've always seemed to enjoy Danielle's company. Kokoa and Sakara love Danielle. The siblings are now eight years old and still stay active and healthy. Many people accuse the sanctuary of domesticating these wild animals, but according to the volunteers, they don't follow any unnatural process which may bring change in the animal's behavior. Rather, they leave it wholly on the animal's choice if they would like to be with humans or not. The first video. The beautiful moments were recorded and later on shared on the Colorado Wolf and Wildlife Center's online page. The first video shows Danielle approaching towards Kokoa and Kokoa kissing and licking her face. The second video is much more fun when Sakara too makes it to the footage. The second video. This was the second video recorded when Kokoa was comfortable with Danielle and is rolling over with fun and Kokoa makes a short appearance in the video 
but both seem to be treating Danielle as their friend not different from them the videographer was observing the whole scene from a distance and at first commented on Kakoa's huge size and Danielle you're an average sized person the sanctuary made something very clear when they mentioned in the post Kakoa loves his ladies especially Danielle Kakoa loves to greet visitors with wolf kisses the sanctuary is mentioned on his website shelter staff member Smith adds since he was raised by people and bottle fed from the time he was born he's very well socialized meaning he enjoys the company of people his biography on the website states Kakoa is a handsome young male with a sweet personality which is good because he loves to greet visitors with wolf kisses when he puts his paws on another person's shoulders he towers at about seven feet this is not the same as domesticated or tame he's still a wild animal and he does tend to show it when he's around his sister a wolf in the wild would not act this way clarifies Smith about the true nature of these animals anyway the video has gone viral and succeeded to increase the number of visitors to the sanctuary wolves are one of the very few animal species who survived through the ice age and still manage to survive I wish everyone understood that wolves are awesome and loving a person mentioned in the comments while another one went on thanking the sanctuary workers as thank you for taking such great care and loving these beautiful animals we believe wolves should be wolves and dogs should be dogs however if your intent is to own a wolf dog you should take full and total responsibility for that animal the mission is mentioned on the sanctuary's website Kakoa and Danielle are best buddies Danielle tries to teach him how to greet people while he's always in the mood to play visitors admire their duo and you too can go ahead and meet Kakoa and Danielle don't forget to share this amazing story of adventure fear trust 